And now, it's finale time. Crown Tundra Station. We're going down to the Crown Tundra. Hey guys, it's me, a little sir fetched. Welcome to the Crown Tundra. This must be your first visit to the Crown Tundra, am I right? Researching Pokemon biology around here. The number of ancient and rare Pokemon have been spotted on the Crown Tundra, you see. If I update your Pokedex for you, will you help me research what species appear here? Yay. Okay. I want to see, like, how many Pokemon I already have in here, because I did, like, transfer over a bunch of Pokemon. 120! Same as the Isle? That's weird. That's weird. Oh, one of my favorite places in any Pokemon game is the Crown Tundra. Look at how beautiful this place is. Come on, Dad! Lay off and quit following me already! I want to go on a Dynamax adventure in the Max Lair, and I don't need you breathing down my neck. I'm here to battle loads and loads of rampant Dynamax Pokemon. <laughs> don't you fret. I know somewhere way more fun than that musty old place. Ready for loads of quality time with the coolest dad ever. What a generous and totally unwanted offer. I ain't gotta say no thanks. Ouch. He just got... Uh, well, he just got, um, denied. Excuse me, hello. Lend a fellow trainer a hand, would you? Oh, look. There's already a Pokemon that I need. Come on, Nia. Be reasonable. We're here ready to be ultra-mega embarrassed as I unleash the noble roar of Dad. Gah, I'll take a hot pass on that, thanks. Excuse me, hello. Yes, you, the girl over there. My dad is stubborn as steel and he won't leave me alone. Back me up, would you? Sure. Brilliant. Have a great time with this geezer, then. Now hold on, lass. Can't say I approve of you butting in blindly. But if I give you a trounce in this young lady, you ought to see reason. The name's Peony. Brace yourself. I'm pretty ferocious in battle. Well... I may have brought a Pokemon that might stand a chance against your Caparaja. Yeah, so it's the return of Rafiki. Gah ha aren't you a brave one picking a fight with a one-time gym leader? You know, I didn't think I wasn't healed. That's Snow Bueno. Ooh, that might hurt. Oh, that's definitely gonna hurt. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, it's not healing. What? Okay. Why is it not healing? Feels like it should be healing. I have airlock, don't I? I forgot my Rayquaza's ability doesn't uh, negates the effects of weather, doesn't it? Yeah, oh. <laughs> Beautiful. I completely forgot all about that. I was wondering why it wasn't hailing. Oh no. Ooh, yeah, I'm gonna lose this battle. Oh, okay, that was actually a crit. That might not kill me next time, then. Yeah, 
Yeah, well, this stack is definitely not gonna kill him. Well, it definitely won't kill me if I hit him. If he doesn't hit me. Oh no, he's gonna heal with like a citrus berry, probably. Yeah, citrus berry. Ooh, is this gonna kill? Is it gonna kill? Is it gonna get. Oh, I lost. You gotta crit! Good thing I don't think you actually have to win this battle. Gahaha, <laughs> you got a bit of fight in you, but you're still soft. Hmm. My darling daughter's disappeared. Where have you gone, my sweet Naya? Are you sure sweet is the word? Darling daughter, huh? Of course, my Naya is the sweetest, darlingest daughter a dad could ask for. Brought out here so we could have a proper fa father-daughter trip. First one in ages. Now that we've got here, she grabs the first trainer she finds, makes him a decoy, and legs it. That's my dear Nia for you. That's just her backward way of showing her papa she loves him. <laughs> Must be. That's the type of girl she is. Ultra mega charming, isn't it? Still, without her, I can't start this adventure of legendary spots I've planned for us. She mentioned wanting to have a gander at some place called the Max Lair, didn't she? Sounds to me like she wants good old Papa to chase after her. Well, she needn't worry. I'm not one for wasting time. Which means it's time I gotta move on. Cheers for a fine battle. I'll be seeing you then, lass. Careful where you poke your head in next to him. <laughs> and the Crown Tundra awaits. Everything is just a bit laggy here. <laughs> um, so, my team is not going to include this Jinx. I think Jinx is a terrible Pokemon. I just don't like it. So yeah, we're not going to add Jinx to the team. My team's going to be special. And you'll see what I mean by that in a minute. Okay, this is where I need to go. One of the best places in Pokemon history. The Max Lair. Aha! Uh -huh. This must be the Max Lair that Nia was talking about. Which means that darling daughter is in here right now having a giggle with some rare Dynamax Pokemon. How did you know I was standing over here? Is my back dojo style too? I did not realize that. Hmm. Oh, it's you again. Well, kid, maybe you gotta come as well. Right. Just you hold on, Nia, my dear. Here comes Papa. Okay. Is that you, Amora? Hi, Amora. Excuse me. Okay, before we go on, let me just, like, make sure I do something real quickly. I'm not gonna have him as a part of my team, but I want to make sure I don't have to catch one. And then I have one. It's from an older save file of mine, but I should have what I'm looking for. There he is. Great, no. We need him for adventure. But for now, let's go to the max lit. Please, sir, I can't let you. Oh, I think you can. My precious daughter's in there, and I'm going in after her. I understand, sir, but... But what? I'm here to have an adventure, and I want to kick it out for right now. Simply can't allow it, sir. Uh, well, there you are, lass. So you've come after all, have you? Alright. Nothing's alright, and everything's the matter. This ultra-mega numpty of a scientist and system getting in the way. Numpty of a... I beg your pardon, sir. If you be so good at simple listen, I could let you through. Tenderized adventures are quite fraught with peril, I'm afraid. And... 
God, I got no patience for standing here. Listen to you rattle off the fine print. <sighs> We're just going around in circles. You seem to know this gentleman. Would you simply listen to my explanation? If so, then I can allow you to enter as a pair. Aha, uh -huh, now you're talking. Go on then, let's hear what the old lady's gotta say. And then we'll go find my little Nia together. Right, right. Yes, that's what I like to hear, man. Oh, you want. Very well, then I'll proceed. Max Lairs, a labyrinth underground cavern where rare Pokemon dwell, the likes of which normally are not found in the Gala region. I don't need to read that. For the risk of Galar particle overexposure, which can cause your own dear Pokemon to lose control, we have prepared Pokemon that for you that are resistant to the particle's effects. Right, right. I'll follow you. You're saying you don't want Galar losing control, so the Pokemon rent some particles, so we might see a rare overexposure? Oh my gosh, I just... That was stunningly incorrect, sir. This is a dangerous place. Please make sure you have a firm grasp of the rules. I'm still a touch lost, but that's the type of place this is, eh? Right, sounds like this is all a bit beyond me, so I'll just go in and get cracking. Here comes Papa, my darling, Nia. Sir, no, I've just told you it's too dangerous. What is going on with that man? He looks so much like Chairman Rose, but his attitude doesn't match the Chairman's at all. <sighs> when you're ready to go chase him down... Pardon me, I meant when you're ready to begin your Dynamax adventure, please let me know. Let's do it. Um... No, I have to do them alone anyway, so. Okay, so I know what Pokemon that it's going to send out, but none of these Pokemon are really going to do anything anyway, so. Get Butterfree, get Butterfree, get Butterfree, get Butterfree, get Butterfree, 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 This game sucks. Ooh, Obstacoon. I want Obstacoon. That's Suicune. I know for a fact that's Suicune played this game before and it's always the first Pokemon that it's sends out is Suicune so we can go for Obstagoon and then whatever this rock type is looks like I just really want to go for Obstagoon and see if I can't get a shiny of him I need to reclaim my shiny Obstagoon This is going to be fun. So yeah, we're going to do Dynamax Adventure for this first part. I'll show off my first Dynamax Adventure. If you don't know what Dynamax Adventures are, which I hope you do, it's been almost two years since this DLC released, but... Essentially, Dynamics Adventures are ways to get legendary Pokemon. And then, after you beat the main story, it's a way to get Ultra Beasts. Which I finally beat the main story on my main first playthrough of this, because I finally got Rage Drago Shiny, so... I can now, when I want to, find some Ultra Beast. I don't remember exactly how, like, each room is. It's been a while since I've done Dynamax Adventures. I think each room leading up to Legendary has no shields, and then the Legendary has shields. It has, like, two sets of shields. Just like any um, five star Pokemon does.
And also, your health carries over through to each area. And you have four lives to get through these things entirely. So basically, you gotta plan accordingly. Also, I think every Pokemon here is literally an insta catch. It's like in regular raid battles, they're not insta catch. But in Dynamax battles, they are. Or Dynamax adventures, they're insta catch. So it's smart to just at least catch all the Pokemon, so then you could see if you get a shiny. And I like this Pokemon better. I'm gonna go for Rock. Ooh, yes, Scientist, too. Forgot, she gives you, like, the option to switch out. Um... Gray, you targal. Gray. We got ride on so much better than Rapier. Rapier will always be the Right, Don will always be the superior Pokemon, even though Rhyperior ends with Superior, which is part of the word superior. And I've just confused myself. Ugh, I'm lashing out. I'm angry. One of you has got to have a physical water move. Okay, Jellicent, that's good. I think that's physical. No, you made him so slow. How could you do such a thing? It's gonna do a lot of damage. Oh no! You made me slow? What the heck, man? I <laughs> gotta see his nail right on. Smack him. Smack him. Yeah, that's also the problem. I have to be careful with my moves because I know if I'm not, then I'm gonna run out before I get to Suicune, which it doesn't matter with Lash Out because I got Thunderbolt, which is better for him. I can't see it even more. Boom. Come on. There you go. Oh, this is gonna be so slow. This is probably the slowest battle we're gonna have. I think I'm starting to see why, um... Dive wasn't doing as much damage as I thought it was going to. It was sunny. I didn't realize that for some reason. Oh, and by the way... One more thing. If you take ten turns on any of the battles, I think... In Dynamax Adventures, you just lose completely. That's still a Pokeball at you. And also, when you go and catch Pokemon, you won't know it's shiny until once you check all the Pokemon at the end. And, in terms of the legendary Pokémon, at the end... I don't want to switch out. At ter in terms of the legendary Pokémon... Roselia is going to be a very terrible Pokémon to use. If you catch the legendary Pokémon at the end... ...and you decide to take it, you can never get that legendary again. So legendaries in this are one-time things. Yeah, now I'm gonna have to get through this with just a Thunderbolt and Facade.
Okay, facade does a lot of damage. I don't know, I try using a fire remove on a on a ground and water type of one. And if all the Pokemon to try to use a fire remove. Oh, I can't see us now. Stupid smiling flower that looks like it's high all the time. Why am I moving so slow? Excuse me. Yeah, I'm like probably gonna switch out here, but what the heck, man? Probably gonna lose our first life because for some reason I'm just not moving. Or did I just like, miss my attack? Like, did I just miss my attack? What the heck? Why did I move last? It's gonna heal me up, but it's gonna do damage. Oh, that's a death. I'm the first death. Got this. Oh. Well, it's burned now. No, we're gonna be poisoned. I don't think we're getting this weekend. We're on to the sweet coon, baby. Oh, I first gotta catch Roselia. We did it. Roselia was hot. Someone's got to take it. Yes, good job, Torkoal. Now we might actually stand a chance. Go time. Go time! No, please, why? Why would you do this to me? Yes. Everyone's gonna live. <laughs> it doesn't affect jealousy. What the heck, man? Wait, but life do is a grass move, isn't it? Hold on, now I'm actually confused. What the heck is life do? It is water type. Its Japanese name translates to Life droplets. Beautiful. Wait, life do is a generation eight move. What? That's weird! I thought it was introduced much earlier. 
Like so, so much earlier. Okay, so my bad. Uh, the legendary Pokemon don't have shields. I forgot. Near the end of their life bar, they just get aggressive and attack more. That's what happens. I think we actually stand a chance. Seismitude, why did you have to hate yourself? Seriously, man? It's uncalled for. Okay, if Roselia can hit it. If you can do it, Roselia. Win. Come on, Roselia. You are the victor. Oh, Roselia. Oh, we're in Trick Room. That's why I moved slower that one time. It's because we were in Trick Room. We did it. We beat Sweeker. And guess what, guys? What is a Pokeball I have, like, four of? I have five of this, so guess what, guys? First Pokemon on the team. <laughs> yep. We're using legendary Pokemon. Because it's the Crown Tundra. Why wouldn't I use legendary Pokemon? I don't even care if this is a Pokemon that's not shiny. Obscoon, Rhydon, Roselia, and Suicune. Let's do it. Let's go Suicune. I got nine Dynite Ore. I'm gonna call it... Chester. Oh, we're giving it an actual name. Chester has been added to a party. Okay, first time we ever get to have dialogue inside of a den. Hang on, I recognize you. Are you here for Dynamax Adventure 2? Wicked. I guess we're on the same length. I'm Pioneer. Nice to probably meet you. What about you? What's your name? Watch your... What the heck does that word mean? Is that slang? I don't understand. I could use my phone, right? Watcher, meaning it's a friendly greeting. It is slang. That's how you always talk. It's not bad. So is my dad on his way here too? Well, I haven't seen him. Has he got turned around and wound up back at the entrance? Listen, sorry for using you to distract my old man back there. He's as stubborn as a mudbray. Things go right after I left. What? You held your own against my old man? He used to be a gym leader, you know? Even on holiday, he's no pushover. You know, my dad was going mad with excitement for this trip. Kept going on about how he planned all for us to check out local legends on this super intense adventure, or adventure, as he calls it. But I mean, come on, what girl my age would be caught dead doing some naff thing like that with her dad? Besides, I really fancy having more battles. Dynamax Pokemon. All the thrill of battling one of the massive, towering Pokemon. Just thinking about it gets me pumped. Hehe. <laughs> you know what? I just had a thought. You're a pretty fierce trainer, right? And I bet you could handle taking my place on my old man's adventure. Sounds like great fun. Too right it does. It's a brilliant idea, if I do say so myself. I'm s he's so hyped up about all this. It'd be a shame just to leave him on his own. And you know... And, you know, and who knows? You could end up bringing into a legendary Pokemon. How about I meet back up with you two after I've had my own fun in the Max Lair? Ow, I hit my elbow. Come on then. Enjoy your 
your twosome tour of legends. Tell my old man the deal and all that. Oi. And he's dead. Why does he have two-toned hair? I'm just realizing that. Look at that. Look at that. His, his head is gray, but his mustache is black. Or his beard and mustache is black. Oh, it hurts. It's ultra mega hurts. Nia, where's my darling Nia? All right. This fine gentleman appears to have tripped on a rock and struck his head. Uh, adventures are to be taken lately. I've learned that first hand now. First hand, I mean. I was just checking to see my little girl's behind some rocks and look how I've ended up. Behind some rocks? Is your daughter a roly coly, sir? There we go. I'm up. No little bump's gonna keep me down long. That kip's got me feeling right as rain. How about it then, lass? Did you find my darling Nia? Well, here's how it went. Hmm, you don't say. So my dear Nia is set on staying away till she's had her fill of this Dynamax adventure stuff. And she wants the two of us to go ahead and get cracking on the grad peony adventure. You know, I burned the candle at both ends working out the best itinerary I could for my dear Nia's sake. I guess she's at that age when she doesn't want her old man tagging along all the time. I'm trying to press her into doing what I want to do. Probably won't win me any Dad of the Year awards. Right then, what's your name, kid? Cheers, Fetch. My name's Beany. Wait, I've already told you so? Yeah. Well, yeah, you have, because I can see your name. Wait. Then it's twice as nice to meet you. I got this leak hold. Let's have ourselves such a smashing adventure that my dear Neil will be itching to join us in the fun. Yes, let's. Now that's an ultra mega great response. Just what I was hoping to hear. <laughs> We're going to have ourselves a real treat of Pokemon, legendary Pokemon on So that's decided. Now then, fetch. Let's get ourselves to Friesenton. It's a town just a short ways off. Time for a strategic planning meeting for Peony's Adventure. I'll fill you in on the details once you get there. I say, let us reconvene post haste. Ha! Huh, just pull on your leg. Can you imagine if I actually talk like that? <laughs> well, I don't have my team yet. I have two Pokemon on my team. I have one Pokemon on my team. I don't have my team yet. I gotta get my team. I'll be right back. I got really bored. So, we, we got two Pokemon. For our team. Um, we got Chester and Cameron. Um, level them up a bit. And give them moves. And I'll be right back. Alright, so. I'm leveled up good enough. Still don't know what their moves are. I think that's a good move set. So, is that my uh, data form Zerud? No, it's different Zerud. I don't know what version that is, but I know I have the data form somewhere. I got it uh, from some event that was going on, like last year, I think, is when it happened. But let's move on. And let's finally begin some of the story. We got two legendaries. We're going to get three more. One for each of the different adventures. You'll see what I'm talking about when we get to there. There we go. So now we just have to follow them, right? Oh, 
And here we are. Freezington. What a beautiful sight to see. Those crops are not going to grow. Hello, hello. What are we here? Another visitor? I am the mayor of this fair town of Freezington. I must say it's a surprise to have visitors arriving in our out-of-the-way town one after another. Might you be here to learn about the legend of the King of Doubtful Harvests as well? Yes, maybe. Ah, uh, never mind. It hardly bears asking. After all, there's very little otherwise to attract visitors to our sleepy corner of the region. Which is a bit of a shame, really. People come all this way to investigate what turns out to be a mere fairy tale. Since you've made the journey, I must offer you this Freezington specialty as a memento. It's a boat neck sweatshirt. The shirt emblazoned with the likeness of the King of Bountiful Harvests. I'm afraid it hasn't been hasn't sold quite as well as we'd hoped. Got a fair number left over. The illustration's based on extremely ancient accounts of the king's appearance. Hence the unusually sized head. But we thought it might take make the design a touch more hip, as they say. If you'd like to see what the king really looked like, I suggest you take a look at the statue of the fields in the center of our village. By the way, while you're here in the Crown Tundra, feel free to let your head, your lead Pokemon out of its ball and take it for a stroll. For well now, then. Oi. I'm over here, chap. Over here, fetch. And we're gonna see... <gasps> you are... very small. My claws is so big when he follows me! Why are you so small? Aha! Uh -huh. Here you are! This pokey little place will be our lodgings. But as of this moment, it's also something far more important, a base camp. I know, I know, not much for base camp, is it? So we've got to give it a proper air of importance, haven't we? Now, enough faffling about, Fetch. Let me tell you what the Peony Exploration Team is after. Around here, we've got a fair few strange and mysterious legends. For example, the huge-headed Pokemon known as the King of Bountiful Harvests. Not to mention... Massive Red Tree, where legendary flying Pokemon gather. And furthermore, these great hulking dot faced giants that sleep in some ruins or something. Etc. See what I mean? This place is just bursting with little juicy legends. We're not stopping until we found just how much truth they've got to them. And there you have it. We are the Peony Exploration Team. That is our grand, noble, magnificent goal. Of course, if I had my way, I'd be doing this with my darling Nia. But who knows, they say even chancy meetings can lead to blissful friendships. So here's to a grand adventure, Expedition Chief Fetch. I'm a chief? Obviously. Look, what do you think would happen if the two of us went gallivanting off together? My dear Nia could come along for a grand emotional reunion and find this place empty. Just the thought of it, my own darling daughter sitting alone in this room pining for a papa. Ugh. Nope, not on my watch. I'd never let that happen. So I'll be the whole down on the fort, chief. Which means you get the pleasure of being the expedition, chief. <laughs> Treat me to this. Go on, have it. The uniform. Heck yeah, look at that. We are part of the expedition crew. <laughs> Look at that! Fits you like a like a glove. I brought some spare uniforms, so my dear Nia would have got would have had a few to change into. So there's enough to give you one. If you ever need a change or have a kip, by all means, just head into the back bedroom back here. Got some different colored scarves in there, so switch up if you fancy a bit of style. Here, have these two. Legendary Clue 1, the King of Bountiful Harvests. 
Legendary Clue 2 is about the Reggies. And Legendary three, Clue 3 is about the tree. Their legendary clues have been meticulously compiled from hours of dedicated telewatching. First off, why don't I have a look at the clue about the King of Bountiful Harvests? Seems like the King's bonds with its loyal steed, or whatever you call it, run proper deep. So if I had to name this expedition, I'd call it... The Sacred Bonds of Sovereign and Steed. There's a great big statue of it bang in the middle of the village. Though its head isn't as massive as my notes. As in my notes. No need to change. Aha! I just had an idea. Here's a little something to help you out. Yes, there's my Master Ball. Hey, you get two Master Balls in this game. It's pretty freaking cool. This is supposed to be an ultra mega ch ultra mega corker of a ball. Use it wherever you think you ought to. I got it ages ago from someone I used to know. Never could bring myself to use it, though. If you ever get a bit turned around, come on back to camp anytime. Can't miss it. Just look for the adventuring, adventuring crew flag I stuck out front. Handmade by yours truly. Anyway, I suppose that's it. Let the grand adventure begin. Have a smashing time out there. And now, the Crown Tundra is ours to explore. <gasps> There's the tree! We're going to do the tree first. We're going to do them in this order. I don't think you have to do them in a specific order. I think you can literally do them in whatever order you want to. Oh, footprints. Oh, yeah, this is the... Um, whatever you call them. I don't care about doing those, though. Wait, do I have to? Yes, there they are. These are exactly what I was looking for. I knew my hypothesis was spot on. Hmm, wait. Fetch? What are you doing in a place like this? What are you doing here? I keep asking myself that same exact question. If I've known it was going to be this cold here, I would have thought things through a bit more. Here I am, stuck at the Crown Tundra, trying to learn more about a group of Pokemon. There are some Pokemon that prefer places where there are no people. You see, Pokemon that choose to live in isolation. Crown Tundra here is just the place for that sort of Pokemon. My theory is correct. I think a certain trio of legendary Pokemon could be lurking somewhere in these lands. I'm sure my theory is not wrong. If you want some proof, then look here. See those footprints? The Iron Will Pokemon. That's 2% of the day and track it. My theory is that the legendary Iron Will Pokemon, Cavern Pokemon, and Grassland Pokemon are all somewhere out here in the Crown Tundra. There's evidence like this scattered all over the place that'll lead us to them. If we can find more evidence and collect 100% of the data needed to track these legendary Pokemon, then I bet we could use my Pokemon Finder and figure out what habitats they're living in. But this place is wicked cold and it's putting me in hibernation mode. Are you planning to stick around here for a while, Fetch? Think you could try to spot more evidence like this when when you find it? Rewards you for your hard work, of course. I'll be waiting in that house there, so I can stay warm and cozy and maybe feel my fingers. Uh, so that I can grip a pen and write, of course. Since I'll be working so hard on my research. Sure, Sonya. Sure. We are an hour into this, and I've barely gotten started with the story. Well, we're almost an hour into this, and I've barely gotten started. I didn't realize how much there was in this game before you actually, like, get to do what you want. Also, it's been forever since I've explored the entire Crown Tundra. Because... I forgot you were a Pokemon for a second. 
it's been a while since I've explored the Crown Tundra because I've been stuck looking at a stupid uh, dragon for a thousand years. <gasps> Don't even look at him anymore. Find an Reno. Yeah, it's the vault one, not the. Excuse me, I don't want to run into you. We're gonna go. Is that a mushroom? No, it's a raid den. Oh, and by the way, um, somewhere here, you can get a higher percent chance of getting the uh, sinistry with the mark. And then it's also like, you can chain it to where it shows up 50% of the time, which is pretty heckin' cool. There's all the footprints all around, but I'm not looking for the footprints. I'm not, I'm not going for that part of the story. There's way too many legendary Pokemon. I think it's great what they did with the Crown Tundra. I think the Crown Tundra is just beautiful. It's so much better than the Isle of Armor. I ran into a fish. But yeah, I think the Crown Tundra is just so much better. And... Like, they integrated legendaries into this in such a way where you could, like... You can counter so many legendaries in this. And, like, a lot of them have their own special ways of getting them. Like, obviously with the legendary birds, and the Regis, and Kvalion's trio, and then Calyrex. Granted, most definitely have to do with... <clears throat> Raid dens, but you know. Let's go look at this tree. I wonder what this tree is going to show us. So isn't this like Dinah Hill tree or something like that? <sighs> There's one of the coolest looking legendaries, in my opinion. I love Galarian Moltres. All the Galarian birds are just so beautiful. Like, the Kanto versions of them are just not that cool, but the Galarian versions are so... awesome looking. Beep, beep, beep. Oi, oi, it's me, Peony. Listen, I wanted to ask you something. Hang on, Chief. There's breaking news on the telly. They're saying dodgy bird pill one are popping up left and right. There's this pointy feathered one in that wild area, plus a fiery looking one on the Isle of Armor. And this fancy graceful one's apparently fine about the Crown Tundra. Wouldn't it be something if they turned out to be the bird pill one I wrote that I cool about? Hmm, and if that were the case, I'd think I'd call this expedition something like. A legendary tree and a legendary three. I've gone an Ultra Mega completely forgot what I called you for in the first place. Well, life's too short to sweat the small stuff. Ta, Chief. Let's go and look at this. The blue the bird of orange dashed off to the wild area, the bird of black set off the eye of armor, and the bird of purple set off across the crown tundra. Excuse-moi. Excuse-moi. Problem is, it's like, I like spent 
when I did this for the second time ever, I spent forever trying to catch this thing. Or trying to catch Articuno. Because Zapdos and Moltres are somehow pretty easily, easy, easily able to catch. But for some reason, Articuno just like wouldn't show up for me for the longest time. And I couldn't understand why it wouldn't. But if I remember correctly, it's been a while since I've played this, so I may or may not remember correctly. If I remember correctly, that's a fish. You have to, like, go up toward, like, the icy part of the area. This is, like, so hard. I think it's, like... You have to go near, like, the slippery slope or something? Also, by the way, one very cool thing about this game. Um, Crown Tundra. First time that fossils spawn in the wild. Like, all the fossils except for the Sinnoh ones spawn in the wild in this, which is pretty cool. And it's the only time they spawn in the wild in present day, because, you know... In Legends Arceus, they don't spawn in present day. That was one of the Reggie Temples. Uh, it's another thing I have to look out for, is the Reggie Temples. Giant's Foot. Man, I wish there was a way to... Access my town map easier. I need to get to the slippery slope. Okay. Or the snow slide slope or something is what it's called. Snow slide slope. So I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> no! I almost drove directly right into that guy. That would have ended up pretty badly. Excuse me, Stone Journer. A.K.A. the Pokemon that I forgot was a thing, and then it like showed up in the first trailer for uh, Scarlet and Violet, and it's just like, you brought this thing back? I got a whole Pokemon, you brought that thing back? Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, large candy. I can make it. I can make it. I can't make it. Oh, I hate Articuno so much. Is that it? That's it. That's it. Oh, I almost just like, I was about to pause for a second and try to go after it, but I found it. Oh, you stupid Drudigon. Get out of my way. I was busy. Cry. Don't cry. 
I'm gonna cry, man. This this stupid bird sucks. And there he goes. He's gone. Never to return. Oh. I absolutely do not hate Gloria and Articuno. I don't. It's just the way you get have to encounter this thing ticks me off. And we're going to be here for the longest time if I sit here and do this whole thing. So... How about... I don't do that. Because now I think I've lost it. I have found him again. He has shown up. Oh, this is gonna take so long. Okay, we are saving right here. So if I fail again, at least I go back to him. It's that one. It's gotta be that one. Yes, it is! Yes! It is him! Oh, you suck. It's fine, that's fine, that's fine. That is cool though, that animation for that move is pretty cool. Oh come on! It's so close! So close. Um, what do you have? Uh, ooh, I could try extra sensory. That's not gonna do much. It's not very effective. Can you not? Please, please stop. Okay, I can do that like one more time. I'm gonna at least try to get it in the red. Okay, there we go. Let's do it! No! What the heck does Psycho Shift even do anyway? I have no clue. This is just gonna be the hard part of this, is just catching all these Pokemon. So I have to catch every single Reggie that I come across. That's not gonna be fun. There's four Reggies I have to catch or capture those three of these birds. Then I have to catch Calyrex. That's eight Pokemon I have to capture. That absolutely does not sound fun. Which is why I might possibly split this in two. So this is going to be a really long video if I don't split it in two. Because we're, like, halfway to the amount of what my videos have 
been on the past two things. We're not even close to being done with this. But there's still so much we have to do. Let me try attacking it one more, one more time. That's as low as I'm getting it. I know Calyrex is probably like a easier to catch one of them. It's just gonna be all these that are gonna be difficult. I might want to bring like. I might like for the future when I like see if I don't have a Pokemon that I can use for like full swiping and stuff. Or hold back. That's a move that is basically full swipe. Come on. Oh my gosh. It shook three times. Oh my god. I got a Kuno finally. <laughs> the, the madness never ends. It never ends. Articuno was caught in the crown tundra. Oi, oi, it's me, Peony. How's your exp expedition going? Coming in? You found the legendary Pokemon Articuno. <laughs> That's really something. I go track down the other bird Pokemon. By the way, only legendary Pokemon in existence to have um regional forms. Let me see if you have a. Because I know you guys have a higher chance of having these things. No, you don't. Well, that really sucks, doesn't it? Well, give up. So we're gonna move on. To the Isle of Armor, baby! We're gonna catch ourselves the third member of the team. There it is. I just gotta remember this thing's flight path. And then I think I gotta ring at it. Ooh, I do think I might remember a little bit of its flight path. Hold on. Well, if I could not run into a looper. Yeah, I think I might know part of its flight path. Or I could just do that. That works too. But if I'm if I remember correctly, it goes over to this island. If I can get there first. Or it eventually flies over this island. And if I can get there first, I can stop him.
There he is. I, I think I can see him. There he goes! Okay, I'm gonna save right here. Get your butt over here, Moltres! My favorite of the Glorian birds. So this thing's dark and flying. Okay, I can get you one more. And then it's time to check balls. Oh, your defense fell. Oh, that's no bueno. I think that's a death. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. That's not good. Someone forgot to revive his team. It was me. I forgot to do so. It is me. I'm gonna lose. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that right there. <laughs> you thought you could win. But I'm surviving. Somehow. It's just going for Sucker Punch! <laughs> yes, 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 just keep going for Sucker Punch. That works for me. You can only go for it five times, but I am breaking his strategy. Chester, let's go. Okay, that's not good. Oh, I've lost. I've lost. I've lost. I've lost. I've lost. I'm gonna lose. I'm gonna lose. This isn't going to be fun. <laughs> I got him! <laughs> Let's go, Chester. You are the best. And I'm going to name you... Um... Christopher. Christopher. Um. Hi. Wait, wait, it's me, Peony. How's your expedition going? Oh my gosh, John Moltres is pretty crazy. 
It's pretty crazy, man. Okay, so what we're gonna do... You wouldn't believe this. What we're gonna do, it's pretty simple. It's pretty simple. Is we are going to do this last bird. That sounds wrong, saying that out loud. We're going to capture this lost bird. And then, we're going to save the rest of them for next time. Because this is already getting too much. For... So, um... Zapdos isn't too hard to catch. But it still sucks. Um, do you heal me? Yes, thank you so much. Okay, so yeah, Zapdos is not too hard. You just gotta be very careful. Can I sneak up on him? Or is he gonna notice me and run? Be sneaky. You notice me? So basically, I have to catch up to him now. means I have to take as many shortcuts as I can. Get up! <laughs> no, 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 are you kidding me? Do you just turn around? Oh, come on! Come on, come on! Yes! Yes! Gotcha! Man, that was somehow really hard. That was somehow very difficult. Are you kidding me? I did not just burn this thing. I'm gonna hate myself. Now that it's burnt, I have a timer. This is gonna suck. <sighs> oh, <laughs> it's so close. <gasps> Drill pick. I'm not gonna catch him. I mean, I've still got moves, but... It's gonna take a bit. I might, this might be the first one I have to restart.
And I'm gonna keep trying. Come on, really? Gotta keep trying to the bitter end. We got, like, what? Maybe two more? This game, it's really mean to me. So ship it just up, up uploaded um a video um talking about the last two episodes of Starter Squad and I cannot wait to see the next two episodes. I lost. Lost. I get it. Hurt me. <sighs> I don't care. I don't even care. I don't even care. I don't even care. I do care, but, you know, we're happy. <laughs> we're just so happy, aren't we? Oh, I am so happy. <gasps> Is that a brilliant Pokemon? I won't cry. Brilliant Pokemon! Yaw. It's not a shame. I feel defeated. I feel defeated and upset. Hey, Chris. Wow. Oh, I can't even believe you. You suck. Okay. Can I fix my mistakes? I don't think I can fix my mistakes. I hate this. I hate this so much. Um, where's my revives? I'm gonna revive about Cameron. I'm gonna heat four store. I love the music that is in this place. Sam does suck so much. Get him!
bitch! Why would you do this to me? I was so close to winning this time. Get away from me. Get him. Oh, and now he's gonna be so fast. Perfect. Perfection. Watch this. We let him get a little bit ahead. A little bit ahead. Come on. Come on. We're so close. We're so close. We're so close. We're so close. Yo, oh, come on. Did he turn around? Got him. Are you kidding me? It's hailing. Are you kidding me? It's hailing. It's hailing! I hate this game! Why do you do this to me? I'm timed again. This is gonna make me cry. Welcome back to episode 192. Of Crown Tundra. It's night time. <laughs> the Richies are gonna be so much more easier to catch. So I don't have to worry about hill. I don't have to worry about trivial stuff like that. I, I just love Articuna. Uh, Moltres' look, though. Look at that! It's so cool! Oh my gosh, the Reggies are gonna be so much easier to catch. I mean, they're still gonna suck to catch because of the whole fact that they're legendary Pokemon that aren't Calyrex, but. Like, I'm not gonna have to deal with Hail or Fire. I'm never making the, uh, a heat wave mistake again. Ow. Excuse me? Oh, that's a dead. Goodbye, Christopher. You died a very sad death. What are we gonna do to an ice type, huh? It's not like you're a fighting type, you can't kill me. What are you gonna do? Why? Why do you do this to me? You know, you don't have to. I don't have to do this. Just be nice. Just be nice once in a while. Yeah, you use your pressure. You use your pressure. Oh no. I am absolutely done with trying to catch this stupid bird. It's gonna take 10 years. Keeps breaking out. I hate legendaries. Whose idea was the Crown Tundra anyway? Who, who designed the Crown Tundra? Like, this is the worst idea for a DLC. Terrible, terrible DLC. Hell of armor is so much better. Hey, um, Zapdos, if 
you could please stop coming at me, that'd be great. Thank you. I said, please. Sitting there forever, and I'm never gonna get. Oh, please stop! Please, you don't have to do this. You really don't. Please, drop those, please. Buddies, right? Seems gonna make me upset. Please! Yes! <laughs> I caught him! I caught him! Kragal, you're the man. I don't like you. Why would you do this to me? Oh, I almost fell. Better report back to Chief Penny. If I don't want to. You always make me happy. Let, let me make this clear to you, Zapdos. Let me make this very clear. Make this so clear. You're dead. You're dead, mate. A penny. I'm done with one of your clues. Articuno. That's ultra mega brilliant. So that's Articuno, is it? The legendary Pokemon that can manipulate ice. I definitely see the resemblance, but it's got this dodgy mask on and everything. And it's hard as it's cold at all, does it? Oh well, it's got one Ultra Mega Ice Glaze. It's so Articuno enough for me. Anyway, let's call this expedition a success. Anything else you want to talk about? I want to talk about the worst one, because he's mean to me. Wait, you caught really caught Zapdos from the Legends? That's Ultra Mega Brilliant. Report away. Hmm, so that's Zapdos, is it? The legendary Pokemon that can cause thunderstorms. I definitely see the resemblance, but those legs look thicker than I expected. It's not exactly electrifying, is it? Oh well, it's as spiky and as long beaks as I hoped for. And Zapdos, not for me. I suppose let's mark this expedition complete. And bird Pokemon, Moltres, the best one. Wait, you really caught Moltres from the Legends? That's Ultra Mega Brilliant. Report away. Hmm. So that's Moltres, is it? The legendary Pokemon. It's the Empoleon. Definitely see the resemblance, but it's not at all hot to touch. Kind of looks like it'd be at more home with a bunch of sparkler than a volcano. Because I. Oh well, looks a bit like it's burning if you don't look too close. Yeah, it actually kinda does. Like it's it's animations really look like it's on fire. That's Moltres enough for me. Supposed to call expedition well done. Looks like you've reported that all there is to report on legendary clue three and the legendary birds. Smash it, I'll mark this expedition a success. Or I'll mark this expedition done. We did it. Alright, Derry. No. No. I'm done. Tonight. I'm really done. I I can't. I can't right now. I'm tired. That took hours just to get an hour and a half of footage. So we're splitting this into two parts. <laughs> Next time we're gonna finish this. Thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, Glorian Zapdos will forever be on my hit list. <laughs>